ruining the game. I didn't read it. I just read the word Dalmatian. What? All right. We're live? Hello. Hi. <laughs> okay. Oh. We have a bag full of questions, and we are going to answer these questions. <laughs> okay. Journey, do the honors. What are your plans for the future? You answer. You picked. Well, my plans for the future are more music coming up, like, real soon, actually. I have a lot of things I'm working on. And tour, and vlogging the tour, so a YouTube oh, channel. Oh, vlogging. Vlogging, 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 vlogging. Vlogging. Yeah, we're going to do a lot of stuff. Well, you answer now. Um, okay, plans for the future. Well, obviously tour, uh, get my diploma from high school. That would be nice, so I have a high school education. Yeah. <laughs> um, and make music, and hang out with the top seven, because they're some of my bestest buds now. Oh, yeah. And um, hopefully I make some nice, relatable tweets so I get some retweets. <laughs> relatable. Okay, <laughs> pick one. Okay. I'm the bag holder, don't you even. How did you feel when you found out you'd be performing Prince songs with Sheila E. drumming? I think, well, I didn't have Sheila E. So. I had Sheila E. and I almost died. My family, okay, so my aunt caught Sheila E.'s jacket at a Prince concert, and it's been like an heirloom in our family and something to live up to. And they were like, if you ever meet her, make sure you say that we have her jacket. And I was like, I'm never going to meet her. And then I did, and then I told her that we have her coat. <laughs> so it was cool. She's a legend. It was amazing, and she was so sweet. Okay. okay. What was the most memorable part of your idol experience? Mm. Memorable? Memorable. Most memorable. Um, Disneyland. <laughs> oh, oh. Disneyland. That was my first time going. So definitely Disneyland. Getting recognized was so the cool. The rides, like we'd just be able yes. to uh, get to the oh front of the line. On the, so we the felt so exclusive. I felt so famous. The Haunted Mansion ride was my life. And Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh. Honestly, yeah, Disneyland, Dole Whip's most memorable experience. I mean, we also could give a sappy answer and say most memorable parts is all the stories and all the friends and connections we've made. But for this live only, I will say Disneyland. Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> is this? No, that one. Pick from the top. No, pick at the bottom. You get to go on tour with the top seven. How does it feel? Um, Amazing. Yeah. It, <laughs> I don't know. It feels great because you know that even if you had the worst performance of the night, you get to still be on stage singing for America. And although it feels good, but let's just say they only bought tickets to see the winner. Well, you gotta sit through me to get to the winner. So it's like We're a all nice like, winners hey. here. I'm so excited. Forty plus cities. And we get to try all the foods from all those oh cities. Oh my god, and all like the snacks and all their gas station chains. Because I have Wawa, but some people have like other things like, I don't know, what are other gas stations? Do you have a gas station chain? I don't know. I don't know which ones are chains or not. I, I, I'm just, I don't, I have no idea. I don't know. I feel like the ones I would mention are everywhere and then I would just sound stupid. <laughs> okay, what did you learn most about yourself through this process? I learned what real confidence is. When I came into the competition, I said I was confident, but I was still comparing myself to everyone and like confident until I got a bad comment. But now I can actually say I'm confident to the point where I walk into a room, I don't compare myself to anybody, and I can feel like I belong in that room and I'm meant to be there. I, I agree with Journey. Um, I'm not quite there yet. I'm not at her level. But I'm, I'm starting to develop. Because what it is, is like I didn't get the full confidence and experience, but now... It's starting to really like come inside. <laughs> <laughs> it's starting it's coming to into fruition. <laughs> it's coming into fruition. <laughs> and I can assure you. Go ahead, pick another one. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we continue? <laughs> supporters in your American Idol journey. Actually, the American Idol vocal coaches. Oh, they yeah. were some of our biggest supporters because they <laughs> wanted to keep teaching us. Um, and also, all the top seven and all the contestants become everyone's biggest supporters and my family. Yes, my mom and my wife and our vocal coaches and the judges and our friends. <laughs> oh, yes. All right. Moving on right <laughs> along. <laughs> 
What was it like being mentored by Nick Jonas? Oh. Honestly, you answer first. Okay, so I got a lot of flack because they're like, you are not mature enough to meet Nick Jonas. I'm like, well, imagine meeting your childhood love. Nick Jonas was my savior at five years old to 11 years old. They, he don't know. He, uh, I can't speak. Like, I, I'm so flustered. It was amazing. Okay, right, let's just say that. It was amazing. He gives great advice. He's just a great guy. He can make, like, sweatpants, sweatpants-ish. Like, they look like sweatpants pants. Yeah. But they looked good on him. <laughs> so it was he, amazing. Yeah, he can make lazy day wear look. I grew up my whole life singing. My favorite song by the Jonas Brothers was the An empty room could be so loud And too many tears to drown it out So hold on Hold on, hold on, hold on. So it was good. It was a good time. What message do you... Oh, you were supposed to pick this one. Here, pick this one. Oh. Wow. <laughs> what message do you have for your fans? Thanks for being my fan uh, and calling yourself a fan. That's really cool. I, I never thought I'd have people who would consider themselves a fan of me. So thank you. Thank you for voting for me. Thank you for getting me this far. I mean, I survived two nights on just America's vote alone. Mm -hmm. So thank you. And Journey, take it away. I am going to have a serious answer. But thank you so much for voting, especially for someone so diverse and different and representing something that a lot of people are scared to talk about, which is the LGBTQ community. And just thank you for having open arms. And even if you weren't a fan of it or didn't understand the LGBTQ community or our, our lifestyles before, thank you for being accepting and opening your perspective and willing to start conversations to learn. And that's the whole reason I do this, so thanks. <laughs> okay, last one. There's only one in there. <laughs> if you could sing anything on tour, what would you want to sing? Mm. Oh, uh, hopefully my new single oh snap no promises <laughs> just um, shameless plugging I'd love to bring back some of my originals uh, everyone really liked 21st century machine and maybe I'd love to bring the full version out maybe I'd love to bring the full version of pity out during Hollywood week that that would be amazing or some other originals also I'd love to do an acoustic trip back version of can't help falling in love just me and a guitar hmm. it would be really cute really nice and yeah. I want to make people cry. <laughs> oh, I'd also love to sing Bright by Kehlani. Oh. I love that song. That was going to be my um, song for next week. It's no big deal. <laughs> but I still am going to sing it at some point. It has a great message, and I love that song. So so please yeah. come to the tour. Yes. And maybe potentially 40 see plus Journey cities, cities, sing cities, Bright. Cities. You don't know, and you don't know what we'll do. You Every... Day will be different because we're experimenting, we're testing new waters, and we're just gonna have the best time ever with six. I will, yeah, six, six of our best friends, and who knows? Five. Oh, yeah, because well, you're my best friend. Yeah, so five, 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 five of our best friends, <laughs> and because math, and it's just gonna be amazing, and you have no excuse to miss it because there's 40 plus cities. Yes. So get your grandmother, get your mom, and get your dad, get your sons, daughters, just get everybody, even oh, your dog. And feel free to comment and spam our Instagrams and Twitters and even Musical.ly's about what the best snack and food that we have to try oh, in your city yes. slash state is because I'm hungry. So just because it's the end of the road for us, it's not the end of, it's just really... It's just, even not the end of the road. We're going to hit the road. Yeah, we're actually hitting the road. So we're just actually just, you know, getting on, we're, we're on a highway and then we're just getting off the exit lane and we're still driving so catch us on tour it'll be fun bada bing bada boom chris allen you like that dude well he's hosting so come down please hire me for journey somebody should hire us for promotion i'm doing your background music why did anybody sing that for disney week we'll never know what we'll never know unless they put us back on for Disney week <laughs> again repeat. thanks for visiting oh, us <laughs> wrapping up uh, just general message please hire us for promotion for this tour <laughs> it's going so great obviously and thank you again and just remember you guys did the best you could see you on tour vote to get it through and we'll thank you in person on tour you thought I was gonna dab that's old that's old news oh you know, I'll do a little what do they do now the shoot shoot <laughs> See you on tour. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>